For the uh, past seven or so years, I've been working on my cabin. It's a tiny place on Rainy Lake in International Falls, Minnesota. You can see here it's it's right along the border of the United States and Canada. This is the way it looked when we got it in uh, November of 2013. Again, it's it's tiny cabin. It's about 20 feet on the short end by 24 feet on the long end. Faces out south into the lake. When we got it, it had no deck or anything. It was up on piers. There's no foundation other than these posts. Inside, it kind of a hodgepodge, mostly 1950s and whatever else had been added to it in the subsequent 70 years or so. It was tight, but my f wife's family, is she was one of nine, and somehow they fit in this. Well, it's terrible design. The original was very inefficient in its use of space. So one of the first things I did was tear out the bathroom in that closet where the water heater was, and I replaced it with two separate rooms, actually redid all the plumbing. I had to move the uh, toilet from one area to another, which wasn't exactly easy. Once I got it finished and put back together, tiled, it's a remarkably efficient and welcoming and wonderful space. Really pleased with how it turned out. On the outside, one of the first things I did, of course, was to build a deck. I couldn't go out in front of the cabin because of restrictions to the lake, so the, the deck extends out to the side. Most of this work I had to do in the middle of the winter because during the summer I had to take care of kids and go fishing with them and skiing and whatnot. So. Um, I would go up there during the winter, and first thing I did was get this deck done. Then I tacked the interior a little bit, pulled everything out of it, replaced the floor with the Douglas fir flooring. I had to move the entranceway over because I didn't want it entering into the kitchen. I put in a, a French door to the front. The exterior is all charred yeah, cedar. Yeah, that's what it looks like. On the inside, uh, in the kitchen, I installed this pocket window. It's a window that goes up into the wall. I actually built another wall on top of the wall so that the window could slide up in there. Uh, beyond the wall and the window, it will be a screen porch eventually, so we'll be able to leave this open all the time. Uh, into the screened porch area. There's a lot of work in the kitchen area here, lots of tiling. As you can see, you got tons and tons of counter space because I don't have a conventional stove or oven. I'll show you more later on how I get around that. This year, 2020, finally replaced the roof. That was a huge project, but Oh, it's so much nicer instead of this uh, four inch of kind of, mm, I don't know what it was, particle board glued together stuff. It's now uh, tongue and groove pine, two by six decking, 
covered by four inches of sty you know, polystyrene um, and then uh, a, a roof on top of that. So in this series I'm going to show you a little bit about each section of this tiny cabin. Um, I've really worked to maximize the space and this last Thanksgiving 2020 pandemic Thanksgiving we spent it just alone with my family of four and even though it's a tiny cabin it worked out perfectly. Stay tuned.